ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We're gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, the joining of two hearts, and to give recognition to the worth and beauty of love, and to add our best wishes to the words which shall unite this couple in marriage. At the very heart of what marriage is all about is the concept of companionship. When God said of Adam, it's not good for man to be alone. He was identifying something about human nature. We're not created to live in isolation, cut off from one another. After he created Eve, God said, and the two shall become one. Marriage is male and female, relating to each other as counterparts. It is not competition, but cooperation in teammates. We are joined together by God for life. To accomplish his purposes for our lives, Jesus said that once a man and woman are joined in marriage, let no one divide them. We are joined as one covenant in a covenant companionship. Best man for a day, best friend for life. Okay. I'm not to kiss you ass, man. I'm just, I'm just, when the time is right, this mother, this thoughtfulness, this, this is what it is, this thoughtfulness. I just, thanks man. I ain't, I ain't get all pushed on <laughs> but I appreciate that. Boy, man. Thank you. Oh, this is nice. 
nice. I got goosebumps right now. This is nice. Wow. Not a day has gone by that you haven't given me your best. You challenged me to be better than the day before, even when I'm resistant. You've always been in my corner, encouraging me and promoting me to be my best self. God knew exactly what he was doing because he made you specifically for me. Through all of my difficult situations, not once have you wavered. In the midst of chaos, you always ask, what can I do to make it better? <laughs> you stuck by me through many tough situations, and yet you love all that I am. I love you more than words can ever show. Your kindness, selflessness, compassion, gentleness, and your unconditional love for me and the girls is all I never knew I needed. As your wife, I promise to love you with everything I am. I vow to be faithful, supportive, encouraging, and to, and to make your priorities my priorities. I believe in you, I respect you, and I will love you forever for as long as I shall live. I'm wholeheartedly trusting you to guide us to where God wants us to be. God conquered every and all of our obstacles with love. I vow to protect you. I vow to respect you. I vow to provide and to support our family until God takes my last breath. I vow to continue to look forward to you as I thank God for you every single day of my life. Today, I offer all of what I can be to you because you are the most beautiful, breathtaking spirit I have ever encountered. And I'm overjoyed that God has given me the other part of my soul to spend the rest of my life with. Thank you for loving me, and thank you for choosing me back. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Uh, Tarikas, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Okay. 
Amen. Seal it with a kiss. <laughs> Seal it with a kiss. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I would like to present to you all for the first time, for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Tyrikus Morgan. I am willing to 